And you managed to take your experience, your thought process of um, perhaps going to a prostitute mm -hmm. in order that your son could experience the, the joy of sex for mm -hmm. himself. And you've turned that into a novel. Tell us a bit about that. Well, it is a t taboo subject. Nobody yeah. ever talks about Whenever you see someone with special needs on a movie or on television, they're either pitied or inspirational. You never think about them having normal urges and desires. Yeah. And why shouldn't they pursue their inalienable right to love, sex and human sexual contact? So... Um, I did, as we talked about earlier, consider hiring a prostitute. In the end, luckily, he met a girl and everything worked yeah. out for him. But I think it's something we really do need to discuss because, of course, curb crawling is illegal. How do you... When your child is autistic, they often find themselves cast off into social Siberia and they're so lonely. Yeah. So how do we address this issue? Cathy, yes. I loved reading the book. I thought it was very humorous and Thank really funny. Um, but what do you say to people? Uh, a lot of comments have come in and Nikki says that this actually makes her feel sick. She's got two autistic sons, mm -hmm. aged 13 and 15, and the thought of making somebody have sex with them um, and paid and pay for it is, is hideous. What, what do you say to that? Well, it's only if, if, if the child expresses that need and that curiosity. And I just thought it might lift up his self-esteem because his self-esteem yeah. was lower than Kim Kardashian's bikini line, which is <laughs> quite low. <laughs> you know, and just to sort of slay his curiosity. Um, but it's an individual case. And yes, every, every parent has to address own. that. But what I want to stress about autistic people, we must stop trying them to be normal. Let them be their best autistic selves. Absolutely. And they are exceptional people. As you know, I was saying to you, there's no such thing as normal and abnormal. There's ordinary and extraordinary. Well, there's also a lot of love out there for and, um, you as oh, well. Well, that's nice. um, Good on you, Kathy oh. Sarah. Thank you for bringing this subject to public attention. My son has autism and other learning difficulties and he's 13. And yes, if he was able to understand and wanted to have sex, then I absolutely would do the mm. same thing. He has needs and urges too, like anyone else. Yeah. And I think a lot of people as well haven't necessarily considered the sexual needs of people with, with any kind of disability. Of and uh, I think a lot of people are appreciating that it is a moral dilemma, that unless mm. you're in that situation, then it's incredibly difficult to judge, to judge. it. And, and as a right. parent, you make your own call every minute of every day. Yeah.